Uh, thank you very much, members of the press. Uh, I'm here in Nakuru County, and uh, I'm glad to be invited by my brothers and sisters here in Nakuru County, leaders from Nakuru County, the, Oz the Azimio La Umoja leadership and the Bunge La Wanainchi. Uh, just as the president has re reiterated, our main mission that has brought us here today uh, mine simply is to stand in solidarity with the victims of police brutality. As the president of the Tsufuria Revolution Movement Kenya, I'm saying that uh, what we saw or what we witnessed uh, just during the demonstrations is something that should not happen in this republic. Therefore, as a people, as innocent civilians, as taxpayers, and as senior citizens of this republic, what we expect from the police is to protect the lives and properties of our people. Uh, the leadership of the Azimio La Umoja movement has already been standing very firm and saying that as a movement and as a coalition, all that they want is an all-inclusive government. It's a government that understands the problems that faces its people. It's a government that feeds its citizens. It's a government that schools its citizens. It's a government that gives proper medication to its citizens. It is quite unfortunate that the government has turned against the citizens that they swore to protect, that they swore to protect their lives about. The police have turned into rogue and enemies of the people. They are using excessive force in dealing with the citizens. They are resorting into killings, and the extrajudicial killing is too much in this Republic of Kenya. In Kisumu, we lost about 15 families. We have uh, buried uh, uh, about two or three. We are still re remaining with uh, about 10 that have not been buried. Here in Nakuru, they are victims of police brutality. Those that are still seeking different medication, those that are still seeking medication in different health centers here in Nakuru, and two, that are lying dead. Uh, it is for this reason that today, led by the chairperson for Nakuru, uh, the Azimio leader, uh, and the Bunge La Wanainchi, we have decided to converge here at uh, uh, this facility, uh, uh, PGH Hospital Mog, so that we may see the person who was murdered, who is still lying here, his name is John Obonyo. And we also have another one who is known as Mr. Hussein. Obonyo will be buried in Siaya. Hussein will be buried in Luanda. That is Viga count. So as leadership and comrades in the field, we will be visiting those homes during the burial ceremonies and we'll be standing with those families and we'll continue to condemn the government in the strongest terms possible. As we say, it is barbaric, it is uncouth, it is uncalled for, and it is something that should not be tolerated in this republic. As I finish, I want to call upon the IPOA, uh, the Independent Police Oversight Authority. It is the role of the IPOA to see to it that the policeman behaves in a way that is enshrined in the Constitution. The police is not a police force. Out of the new constitution that we promulgated in 2010, the police is a police service. The role of the police is to provide services to our people. The first service is security for properties and lives, not killing our people. The criminals that are putting the uniform, the blue uniform, the men and women, we must weed them out. Bunge power. Uh, we must weed them out. And that is our voice. We must get them out of those positions. The IPOA makes sure that you speed up the rate of investigations. You bring these perpetrators to book and we want to see them serving jail terms. We want to see them in jail. Bunge power. Uh, we want to see them in jail. That we are saying. If that is not seen, if that is not done, then it will force us to take another measure through the constitution, because us as a people, the constitution recognizes us through the uh, article one, which says we the people. 
People power, our power. People power, our power. Our power must be exercised through the constitution. Uh, in a nutshell, I want to and congratulate the leadership of Azimio and ODM fraternity in Nakuru and the active engagement by the Nakuru Bunge Lawananchi. This, this is a bunge that is recognized in this republic. They have really done it so well. The leadership of the bunge led by the president, the chairperson, and everybody in the bunge. As a Sufuria movement and as leaders in ODM, we are very much thankful about your participation in pushing for reforms in this republic. Therefore, we are saying, Bunge power. power. We are congratulating you and we are saying, continue doing what you have done. The ODM, they assisted the families and we are so happy about the assistance that the ODM provided to these families. We are saying, Raila Molodinga, you have done so well. You have stood with the bereaved and we are so happy about it. So those that ex those who that was propagating lies that uh, the Azimio has left the dead uh, to suffer and the, the the dead to be on their own way, that is a total lie. The dead, the Azimio has bereaved with the families. True or false? True. That has happened here in Nakuru. They contributed. It has it happened in Kisumu and it has it happened in Siaya, Migori, and all countries, all all sorry, all counties in the Republic of Kenya. Uh, on the ICC. I want to tell Mr. Karim Khan, the prosecutor in the ICC, that uh, we have seen some sinister motives around your coming in Kenya. We read some three days ago that you were to be awarded some, some, uh, some, uh, uh, some honorary in some university known as Mount Kenya University. We're telling you, we know that whatever is do, is, uh, they are doing to you today is to compromise the activities of your office. As, as a state parties to the ICC, Kenya is a state party to the ICC. We give out our monies to support the activities of ICC. We want the ICC to know that your presence here in Kenya is not for any formality but is to assist us to get out of these extrajudicial killings and the massacre. It is wrong for the police to be used by those in power to kill the innocent civilians. Therefore, these this matters and the death reports in Kenya, make sure that you do proper investigations. And uh, if it is Koome, if it is President William Samoy Ruto, and if it is Rigadi uh, Gachagua, if it is uh, the CS interior, make sure that you bring them forward so that you process them through the proper way of, the, of uh, investigations. And uh, if it is about jailing them, please jail them for us because we are so tired. But we are telling you, Karim, we have seen it is like they want to bribe you, the way they bribe their way out of the ICC. If that is going to happen, then we are asking the international community and the ICC, that what we want from you is that you change Mr. Karim Kam, then you give us another prosecutor who is not biased. Bunge Power, uh. we want another prosecutor who is not, who is not biased, who is not a friend to William Samoy Ruto, because we know that Karim Khan was once the lawyer for Will, President William Samoy Ruto. So we don't need him there. We want another prosecutor who can help us to prosecute the matters. Mr. Rigadi Gachagua, Mr. Kimani, Kimani Chungwa, Mr. Ndindi Nyoro, Mr. William Samoy Ruto, Kenya does not belong to you. Kenya is our country. Kenya does not belong to you. Kenya is a country of about 42 million, 42, more than 42 tribes. Kenya is a country for more than 50 million people. Kenya is not a country for four people. It is very, very much bad to talk about a shareholding company, that Kenya is a shareholding company. We all have got the shares in this republic. The Luos have got the shares, the Kikuyus, the Kambas, uh, the Kalenjins, and all tribes that exist in this republic are all shareholders. Therefore, the Luo lives matters. Luo lives matters. Kikau, Kamba, Kikuyu, Kalenjin, and all tribes, their lives matters. Let us not shed any blood.